Hi! In this tutorial, we are going to make a dirt block material in the world of Minecraft. First, create a material and click to open a window. First, we will create a texture of soil and grass and mix them in an appropriate ratio. Hold down T on the keyboard and click to create two texture sample nodes. And set one of them as concrete grime texture and another one as ground grass texture. These textures are provided by Start Content. Next, hold down L on the keyboard and click to create a LERP node. Connect two texture sample nodes to it like the video. The LERP node allows the values of A and B to be blended by the proportions of alpha without any distortion. Next, create a vertex normal node and a component mask node. After checking only the blue channel in the component mask, connect it to the vertex normal node. Vertex normal WS node is a node that outputs the local vertex normal direction. If the blue channel is checked in the component mask, the Z direction values can be extracted. When you preview the component mask, only the upper part of the material looks white. Next, we will extract the values by separating the top and bottom sides of the face. To do this, create a text chord node that outputs UV texture coordinates in the form of a two-channel vector value and extract the green channel through the component mask node. Then the extracted upper and lower values are inverted using the one minus node that can invert the values. Next, after creating a subtract node and connecting it to the one minus node, subtract a value of about 0.65 from the subtract node. You can see that the values on the upper and lower side of the box are a little more distinct. Next, create a power node and connect the values extracted from the subtract node. And by setting the value of the power node to zero, the gradient effect on the side is removed and it is replaced with a single color composed of zero and one. Let's multiply the value by two more to distinguish the upper and lower parts more clearly. Press M on the keyboard and click to create a multiply node. Generate a clamp node and connect it with the multiply node to limit the value of the color. Next, we will combine the extracted values of the side and top surfaces. Create a max node that can output the highest between receiving two inputs and connect the previously obtained values. You can see that the upper half is painted white and the lower half is black like a block. Now, if you use the value extracted with max as the alpha value for the LERP node, you can properly blend the two textures of grass and soil. Finally, let's pixelate the textures. After creating the text scored node and the multiply node, connect them together for adjusting UV of the texture. Next, hold down S on the keyboard and click to create two parameter nodes. Set their names and values like the video. Next, create an append node connect two constant parameter nodes to the append node and merge them into a constant two-vector form. Generate two floor nodes and connect them like the video. The floor node unconditionally lowers the decimal point to the previous integer and outputs the result. Next, hold down D on the keyboard and click to create a divide node. After that, connect the two floor nodes to the divide node. When you preview the divide node, you can see that the texture is separated just like pixels. Now, when you connect the divide node to each of the two texture sample nodes, the textures will be pixelized. Next, save and return to the content browser. Right-click on the material to create a material instance, and drag the cube mesh and place it in the level. Apply the material instance to the cube mesh. Now, click the material instance to open a window and check the parameter groups. When you adjust the parameter, you may find that the pixel size of the texture is being controlled. Thank you.